when the governor says what I said, you can be pretty sure that she's not telling the truth. Right now, my full commitment is to New Mexico for the next four years. Governor Susana Martinez and Gary King square off in their final debate here on KOAT. Tonight, we break down their answers, including how the candidates feel they did. And unlike previous debates, neither knew the questions until they were asked. Having to think on their feet made for a very heated debate. Anchor Royal Day has the highlights. Governor Susana Martinez and Attorney General Gary King agree New Mexico needs more jobs. They do not agree on how to do it. We have to focus our largesse on our own New Mexico businesses. We have to stop outsourcing to businesses from out of state. We should be focusing on helping our film industry. We should be focusing on helping um, our, our construction industry. And that's why we have to div diversify our economy and make sure that there are jobs of all kinds. We have to make sure that we welcome businesses from all over the country. On raising the minimum wage, King says he favors it. One of the things that will help our economy the quickest is that people that are making a minimum wage of $7.50, not even enough to take care of your family. Uh, those people, if they make another dollar an hour, will certainly go and spend that in a community. So Martinez, though, scoffed at King's stance. It's impo interesting that my opponent, while he was a, a state rep representative, actually voted against uh, raising the minimum wage. Uh, voted against it a couple of times. And not until he starts to run for governor does he then begin to um, actually um, say that that's what he wants to do is raise it. The governor vetoed the minimum wage um, last year, two years ago now. Um, she likes to talk about votes that I took um, 10 or 15 years ago, but we're talking about what's happening right now. And when talking about educating poor children in our state, the gloves really came off. My opponent, however, has clearly said that poor children cannot learn. And that is so disappointing to hear because they may be poor and have difficult situations at home. However, I believe that every single child can learn and that's why we have invested more money in education than ever before. She's right about education. She is wrong about what I said about poor kids learning. And, and once again, like I said, she likes to misstate what I've said. I have said this, that children who live in poverty and who are hungry and we have the most children who go to bed hungry every night in New Mexico. Children who go to bed hungry have a hard time learning the next day when they, when they get to school. As the debate ended, a final appeal to New Mexicans. And the choice is very clear. I think that the best days for New Mexico are ahead of us because I believe in New Mexico. Um, and we cannot ever return to the days of the past. One of the things that's important is that your elected officials be willing to address the problems and tell you the truth. And, and you've seen a lot of things from the governor, advertisements that they do, things that she said tonight that are just not the truth. And we're never going to solve our problems in New Mexico unless we tell the truth. In Albuquerque, Royal Day, KOAT, Action 7 News.